name is Elizabeth Evans, and I'm a junior players teaching artist for Dallas Independent School District. Today, our lesson is, let's check our actor's backpack. Hmm. Ooh. A water bottle. Oh, I get it. A water bottle to hydrate our throats. Because today, our lesson is how to do a vocal warm-up. Just zip my backpack up. So, what is a vocal warm-up? It's a warm-up to help our vocal cords. Ooh. Uh -huh. Vocal cords. Your vocal cords are two flaps of skin that kind of touch each other to make sound come out of our mouths. So, the vocal cords are very, very delicate. Think of it like, hmm, tissue. You know the tissue paper that comes in a gift? Think of it that way. They're very, very delicate and you don't want to rip them. We're gonna talk about how to not do that. So the vocal cords are here. And in order to warm them up, we have to use a muscle here. The muscle that we use here is called your diaphragm. Say that with me, diaphragm. Nope, not that one. Aha, I found it. The diaphragm helps push air up and out through your mouth. It takes some of the pressure off the vocal cords. So, you know how when you go to an amusement park or maybe you're outside and you're running around with your friends and you're doing a lot of yelling and then the next day you're like, wow, my throat hurts, right? It's not because that you're not feeling well or allergies. It's because the vocal cords had too much pressure on them. They were working too hard. So when we use our vocal cords, we want to use our diaphragm. I have a trick on how to do this. Okay. Take your two fingers, like peace fingers, right? Don't do that. Take your two peace fingers, put them right above your belly button. We all have a belly button, should be right around here. Everybody's is different though, but here's mine. Put it right above your belly button. Now, you're going to breathe in and out. However, we want to pretend that this muscle is like a balloon. And you know how when a balloon fills with air, it goes and then when it collapses there, it goes right? We're gonna pretend that that muscle is the diaphragm. Now, there is something that all kids do that we're gonna try to fix right now. Okay, relax. Breathe in for me. That was good. Did you breathe in like this? Kids sometimes breathe in and they lift their shoulders. Are your shoulders, do they have your lungs in them? No. Kids lift their shoulders, but the air is not there. Your lungs are here and the diaphragm pushes the air. So instead of lifting our shoulders, we want to think about pushing those bellies out to create air. Now, this is a really hard thing to do. So if you're like, I don't feel anything, that's okay. We're all doing this for the first time or maybe the second time, but this takes forever to learn. This took me forever to learn. Okay, so take those two piece fingers, put them right above that belly button. We're gonna breathe in and out together. These are slow breaths, but when you're breathing, I want you to imagine that balloon expanding. And then when I say out, Deflating, expanding, deflating. Here we go. 
breathe in through the nose, out through the mouth. Ready? Breathe in, breathe out. Like I said, it's okay if you don't feel this for the first time, but I want you to start practicing putting your peace fingers above your belly button, and when you breathe in, imagine your belly filling up with air and collapsing. How does that help our vocal cords? It pushes the air out so you're not yelling just from this part of your voice, but instead we can project our voices. Wait a second. Uh-huh, yep. Yeah. Project. To project your voice, it means to make it louder, but to not scream. You're using your projected voice. So for instance, this is my talking regular voice, but I'm on a video, so I don't know if you can hear me that much. But this is my stage voice. I'm not yelling, I'm simply projecting. I'm pushing the air so you can hear me. What is that in this? What does any of this have to do with vocal warm-ups? I'll tell you. The warm-up helps our throat, our vocal cords know that we're going to start speaking with our diaphragm. So here's the beginning of your vocal warm-up. So first we have to relax, so get those wiggles out. I got a few, little, little, little wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Okay. <clears throat> First and foremost, we did our breathing. We know where our diaphragm is. We know where our vocal cords are. Now we're going to do some tongue twisters and they're super fun, okay? Repeat after me. Selfish shellfish. Very good, say it again. Selfish shellfish. Oh, that was really good that time. Let's say it together. Selfish, shellfish. Very good. Okay, your next one is toy boat. Say that after me. Toy boat. Very good. Let's say it together. Toy boat. Excellent job. All right, your last one is fresh fried fish. This one gets me every time. Ready? Fresh fried fish. Fish. Now you say it. Very good. Let's say it together. Fresh fried fish. That's excellent. All right. That's going to help your mouth. We call that, this is a big word, enunciation. Say that with me. Ready? Enunciation. That means our mouth is moving so much so we can understand each other. So we can say things like selfish, shellfish, toy, boat, fried fish. Now, our next thing that we're going to do is we're going to repeat the letters A, E, I, O, U. Does that sound familiar? Those are your vowels. A, E, I, O, U. We're going to do that and make different sounds with it. Are you ready? Say it like your mouth is stretched super across. Ready? A, E, I, O, U. That was great. Now we're going to say it as if our mouth is going up and down. Ready? A, E, I, O, U. Now we're going to say it as if our mouth is full of marbles. A, E, I, O, U. Now we're going to say it like our mouth is made of steel. A, E, I, O, U. Now we're going to say it like our lips are pulled back. A, E, I, O, U. Very, very good. Can you say it like a robot? I'll do it with you. Ready? A, E, I, O, U. That was good. Oh, can you say it like a spooky ghost? A-E-I-O-U. That one was really good. Before we end today, we're going to work with volume. Volume is when something gets louder 
and then softer. So for instance, we might say A-E-I-O-U. And then I might say, say it louder. A-E-I-O-U. A-E-I-O-U. That's great. All of these activities help your vocal cords know that you're going to do some acting. That is your vocal warm-up for today. Thank you. Have a good one.